and gentlemen, welcome back to the Loving Path Vlogmas day number... 11? 11, yes. Hi! We are here in a very dimly lit <laughs> It's really house. dark and nighttime. Today's a busy day, so we had your voice lesson at 11.30. And then... And we come home for lunch. You still got some dinner on your face. Uh -oh. And then we come home for lunch. And then we go back out for Isaac's piano lesson. And then we come home. And I start and dinner. Which is pork tenderloin and potato. Oh, that's good. Some really salad? Good. Spinach salad? I didn't have the salad, but. You like salad though? I didn't. Normally. Yeah, but I didn't eat any. It was really good. Sadly, my oh. dad was homesick today. Oh, yeah. Because last night his yeah, throat nice. just started like getting really scratchy. And then this morning he woke up like, morning daddy. And he's like. <laughs> no, he said he'd stay so he's gonna take a sick day. Yeah. But no, you can understand what he was saying, but I slept until ten o'clock because there was no one here to wake me up. I kept waking up in the middle and like yeah, why do you think there was no one here to wake you up? Well Dad you had your hair cut this morning. I did get my hair cut this morning. I woke up at ten o'clock. Well, it's another thing. So it's another thing added onto our day. So normally we would have podcasted this morning or at least part of it and then the other part of it. At lunchtime, in between your lessons, but we didn't have time today. I was playing video games with Daddy. Mm -hmm. yeah, he got so sick. in Atari. He was sick. He's sick. He just he slept quite a bit, and then he got up and made himself some food and played for an hour, and then he went back to bed he's when we playing. left. He's feeling better now. Yeah, and then we got home from your voice lesson. He was back in bed, and then he got up for lunch, and then he went back to bed. Now he's up. Anyway, he probably won't go to bed until tonight, though. Yeah, you know, yeah, he won't go back and nap now because. Yeah. Anyway. And up all night long. I know. So, How are you doing today? Good? I'm doing well. I'm wearing my same costume. So yeah, sorry about the harsh light. It's not very flattering, but it's what we got. Anyway, yeah. So, um... That was fun. Yeah, and last night, what was last night? Last night we... I had my cubs. My cubs scouts. scouts. Yeah, you had scouts not last cubs, night. Not cubs, just normal scouts. And what did you do at scouts? We talked about winter survival. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yes, I need to show my dad that. Put video. that link down below. If you want to show them that link. Yes. Yeah, so we saw a video. So we'll link it down below. On um, one kind of shelter you could make in the in the winter in the forest if you found yourself only after it having to spend the night. Takes only fifteen minutes. That's what he said. Yeah. I feel like that would take me a lot longer watching him do it. But yeah, it was very cool. So okay, and then what else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Want to show you a Harry Potter themed thing for today? No, let's I was told to stop apologizing for saying I'm tired. Sorry, Lena. I'm just tired all the time right now. It's horrible. I'm not uh, sleeping very well. I need to ask you, please don't freak out when I show you the Cursed Child manuscript. Why would they freak out? It's been out for like two years. Because they are fan people. Fan people? So we saw The Cursed Child when we were in London two years ago. Um, yeah, it was amazing. We had Imagine. The book had come out the summer before we left, and we thought when we got our tickets, which was six months before that, that we'd get to see it first, and nobody would know the story, and we were very excited. And then they released the screenplay, and so, or the, sorry, the manuscript. And so we thought... Well, not everyone knows the story. So we debated about whether or not we'd read it or not, and ultimately decided that we would not read it, and that we would watch the story unfold on stage before us. So we didn't actually run into any spoilers before, and we really had no idea what to expect. Um, I mean, obviously we knew it was 19 years later, but we didn't know what to expect. So that was kind of cool, and it was so magical. The stage magic that they had was like just mind-blowing there was this one scene we probably talked about this last year there was this one scene where um they'd gone into i think it was harry was it harry hermione and ron who went to the ministry of magic when they disappeared yes and they went into um the call box where they go to go down into the ministry of magic and they had their cakes and stuff on and all of a sudden they were gone like we, w I was watching the entire time, and it looked for real, like they were sucked into the telephone. It was obviously there's trapdoors and other things, you know. They, I don't know, like spin a door so they go behind. I don't know, but whatever they did, you couldn't tell, and it looked like they actually got sucked into the phone. Um, 
and they used their capes actually for a lot of illusion on stage so when they were removing props like tables chairs they'd have um, these big capes that would stretch out like this and they would just kind of come along and go like this over top of so if Isaac's a chair and they would just do this and cover him up and you that suddenly it's gone and it's behind the person walking away and you didn't see it that illusion was so so um, impactful like it really made a big difference and it really was what we're looking for but it had an amazing effect it was really good anyway so that's us he's now reading the, <laughs> it's just me here he's now reading um his book what are you looking at when the part it's water today i'm so thirsty the part where she turns on them. okay well don't tell yeah they maybe they haven't read it so you can't you tell them Okay, so now I know. <laughs> okay, I I'm going to open my advent. Okay. Okay. So I'm really excited about this book right now. It's just, it's just me tonight. Oh, goodness. I will say I'm really, really happy with everyone who's been leaving us lovely comments in response to our prompts. <gasps> oh, Dana. She's, yeah. I like her a lot. It's been so nice to read everybody's um, answers, whether they're your favorite book, favorite movie, Christmas carol, ornaments, all the different bits of yourself that you're sharing back with us, it's been very lovely. So thanks for participating in that. It certainly makes this a lot more fun for us, um, instead of just getting here and showing a yarn and being like, okay, that's it for today, um, knowing that we'll have some kind of response and that we'll get to engage a little bit, has been very nice. I'm going to open mine. He's at the end. He's at the last page. So I have an Outlander advent calendar from Bumblebee Acres Farm. Christmas in the Highlands. Yeah, Christmas in the Highlands. Yes. For a second, I was thinking of my favorite colorway that I've got from them so far, which is called A Ride in the Highlands. Oh. Is it going to be a bright poppy color? Oh, I got a button patch. Mm, I want a button patch. It's hard to tell because it's super dark in here. But it's like a purpley gray. Yeah. I'm not really been reading mine. I've been really bad. Oh, I can't even read this in the dark. A, my eyes, and B, the dark. What's that say? It oh, Sassanac, I see that. It says Dinah. Dinah. Dinah Fesh. I got a button too. Dinah Fesh, Sassanac. So Sassanac is the name that he calls, that Jamie calls Claire. Oh. He calls her Sassanac. I don't know, what's it going to be called? It's like the, the What's Gaelic. the color we call? I don't know, I haven't looked. Sassanac? Do the stone. I knew what was going to be about the stones. How'd That's you know? the only thing about Leonard I knew and I knew what it was going to be called. I got a end of a light and see what that says. Can I show the mine? Can I show the mine? Yeah. Okay. See? Oh, oh, these. Oh, this has got to be the Halloween feast. Oh, run! <laughs> in, in the second movie we were watching, in his facial expressions when they go t through the stones. I know. When they go into the Forbidden Forest and he's just like... Oh, I like spiders. I don't like what? Spiders. Oh, I you say spies. I was like, oh. <laughs> He's like such a coward. Is someone going to be called Ron? Ron Who's Weasley. Like, he wears more Let's like look a bit Ron like Ron Weasley. Weasley. Okay. He does, yeah. Ron Brown's orange. I'm going to call it's going to be Ron. Yes, bees. It's Ron, Ron Weasley. Weasley. Do you think they're going to do a Harry Potter and Hermione Granger? Probably. It would be weird if they just did Ron. Maybe I'm he's their favorite. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. It's nice. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to go too. under the light. Okay, hold on one sec. Yeah. I know, sorry, it's so dark. Oh. Oh. Now he's gone to the other room. This is pretty. Yeah. Oh, okay, now it's coming apart. That's really pretty. I do love those stones. 
he's in there saying, I don't like spiders. Because oh, I can hear. It's hard to see because of the lights. So pretty bees. I like that. I do love those stones. Okay, love, come back. So those are, this is a really nice color. I think it is. bees. It showed up close so people can see it. You're pushing yeah. me off the bench. No, I'm on the very edge of mine. Okay. Um, yeah, oranges and browns and greens. So very much Ron, eh? It I like is. that. That look really pretty in that. I do like it. I do like that Ron badge. <laughs> do you like spiders? They're cute. So many people look. <gasps> spiders, spiders, spiders. I think that um, Rupert Grint is actually, actually afraid of spiders. Yeah, he really doesn't like spiders. Yeah. No, like he really doesn't, as in like he like he doesn't like them. No, no. I'm not, I'm not but I'm not saying he really doesn't. No, I know you're saying he really he doesn't yeah. like them. I'm saying in reality he doesn't. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you're saying. Put your um, where's your big on me? What is that? Cool. Such a nice day of colors. Love that. Through the stones. Through the stones and. Ron Weasley. Weasley. I wish they did a Ronald. Ronald Weasley. Oh, there. Ronald Weasley. Ronald Billius Weasley. It's pretty. Mrs. Weasley does quite a lot of shouting at Ron in the second film. Only when they do their second book. You'll get a huh? screecher and a... What? How do you know? I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just making it up. If they, if you do do a Chamber of Secrets at the calendar. Yeah. Okay. Shall we do giveaway? Yeah. So... It's time. Uh, go back and watch the first episode for all the details on the giveaway. Got it. Finally remember to yeah. say that. It took 11 days. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. So go ahead and watch that. And yeah. Yeah. You'll so basically it was a prompt every day. And, and you you'll find out in it. episode one what you need to do with that prompt in order to be entered into the giveaway. So today's prompt. Today's prompt. So let's backtrack it just two years. Um, on Sunday, we weren't here because we were with family, yeah. but Sunday marked the two-year anniversary of, of us leaving for our six-week holiday so, to the UK. So it's a very big deal. It's been coming up with my Facebook memories and all the anxiety that I had beforehand. And You weren't too anxious. I was, oh yeah, I was. Yeah, right beforehand, I was like, I don't want to do this. What, so why, you what were was... a good mother because I didn't <laughs> notice anything was wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm like, what are we doing? Leave the cats, leave our house, I don't know what to pack, and... I knew you'd be having your own struggles, and you. I were got ill. I was very were sick, ill. Yeah. But um, yeah. So two years ago, and um, today's Facebook memory was about you being sick. I threw up in Grafton Street, right? Yeah. Threw up in a restaurant in the morning. Oh yeah. So that this morning then. Yeah. So Travel Lodge. Hi, Fidelma, if you're watching. Hi, <laughs> Fidelma. But you're not. She was lovely. Um, oh, yeah, we were in there having breakfast. It was a continental breakfast we went, and Isaac just threw up all over the place. The restaurant's full of people. I'm like, oh, my God. That was so embarrassing. I tried running. Because I know you did, yeah. Was I was, I burped, and then all of a sudden you're like, are you okay? I'm like, oh, and then I'm like, no, and then I felt it right there. So you tried to run up to the... I, like, started running, and then it came out, and I didn't want to get, so I was quickly bent down. I knew that. I couldn't yeah. make it, so yeah. I knew that they would. Oh, went. gosh. Yeah, so he was, um, you know, like five feet from the door, and the door led outside. And uh, I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And she's like, you know, her be beautiful Irish lilt. She's like, you know, don't worry about it. He's just... Having a bad day. A bit might like myself. A bit like myself. Having a bad... And then she she got you um, a care package of apple juice and cereal and sent it back to the room with him. And my husband finished paying everything up and came back and he was just in bed. He just couldn't have anything in your tummy. I think the big thing was that he was super dehydrated from the plane ride and jet lagged and just didn't agree with him very well. So anyway, it took us a few days, but then whatever it was that he, the virus he had, I got and I felt horrible because I had dragged him around Dublin. I said, no, we're, so one place I wanted to come my entire life and we're not sitting in a hotel room. We're getting out and doing things. And then I got sick and I couldn't get out of bed. You could if you forced her. No, I couldn't because I was, I was getting hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, and then when I get really hot, I throw up, so I, I had the shakes, I slept the entire day, and I thought, horrible mother I am, I dragged him around Dublin, and he was like, can we sit for a second? I'm like, no, we gotta keep going. 
felt so bad. You were good though. We did sit for bits here and there and we'd stop and get a snack. We couldn't eat in front of him for three days because he felt sick. Oh yeah, I remember So we're that. starving. I'm like, dude, we need to eat. We're so hungry. And then daddy and then gave sick. me a tiny bit of prosciutto. Yeah. That was on a sandwich and I ate it. I'm like, mm, it's tasty. And daddy's just like, oh, that's really good that you can eat. <laughs> yeah, prosciutto. it's good that you like that. Yeah. So after not eating for like a week, and then the just, tiniest bit of meat was a huge improvement. Yeah, and just as I was getting, you were getting better, I was getting sick, whatever, then you guys went to the fish and chipper, and you had fish and chips, and yeah. I was up in bed. And so we had stayed at You never air. threw up, though. No, I almost did. I almost did once. Um, but it was from the heat. And then I kind of oh. like, it's okay, no, it's lots of time. Um, so then I ended up taking off, like, um, my pajama shirt and like whatever and just like lying on the cold floor because that helps bring my top body temperature down and then I usually don't get sick unless it's something in my tummy but this was just because it was too hot um oh my goodness it was so crazy and and so we were supposed to travel all over the island but we didn't get a chance because we were sick because then Fred got it so we had to cancel all of our plans so we stayed in Dublin for 10 days instead of traveling around Ireland but next which was time. sad yeah next time we'll go back so um, we left on December 9th, 2016 and came home on January 20th, 2017. And so we went for Christmas New Year's. We were gone for six weeks and it was... Did Simon drink out of this? No, no. I just poured the water for myself. I was so thirsty. It was unbelievable. And we saw so much and did so much. And we fit so much into those six weeks. Didn't do a lot of down days. Just Christmas, really. Yeah. Christmas Day and Boxing Day and everything else. We just, even New Year's Day, we were in Bath and we just, we there was things open, so we went and visited. We did tons of stuff. Can you stop waving at Daddy? <laughs> um, anyway, and so our prompt for you today oh, yes. is, do you travel at the holidays? Do you go on a holiday and during the holidays? Yeah, or more travel? so. More so, what we mean is not do you travel to visit family because we all do that. But do you go on holidays at the holidays? Do you... Some people go to the islands, right? Because they don't want to... Maybe they don't have family close by. Maybe they don't... Um, they want to escape family at the holidays. Some people want to do that. Um, <laughs> why, are you, why are you nudging me? No, I'm not. And, uh, yeah. And so do you go on holidays at this Drew, time of the year? Yeah, yeah. For holiday... For holiday sake versus to visit family. Yes. I want to know if you travel, if you take cruises, if you go to remote locations, if you go to places you've never been to during the holidays. If, like, and obviously not every holiday, but have you done that? Is that something that you, or, or, or is it really more important for you to be home with Please your family? Please answer our question. Yeah, that's our prompt. Okay. And can we just share something that's really funny? Each time we post a new Vlogmas, three people unsubscribe. Two or three oh. people unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah, I noticed I was the only unsubscribers. So I was like, oh, well, if you don't like watching me and Isaac chat about Advent and the holidays and how we love to spend Christmas, that's... You're, you're not. The, you're, you're not in the right place because that's what we do it for each other, we, right? Yeah. We do like it to it. spend time together. It's a fun we thing for do, us to do. We so like to do it together. They can find something else. We not every podcast is for everybody. Your hair smells nice. No, it doesn't. Um, okay, so we're going to say goodnight. Tonight we're just going to settle in and watch some TV, I think. Finish watching my show. Have a cup of tea, do some knitting. And you and Daddy are going to play a few games. Mm -hmm. And then we're back tomorrow. So we will see you then, I think. Tomorrow is going to be the first Wednesday that I don't have my yeah. homeschool there. So we can be Yeah, oh, We nice can sleep week. in. I don't, though. Unless he stays home, I won't sleep in. And I said, if you're still feeling pretty bad, why are you going to stay home? Take another sick day. He's like, no, but I have two learning things scheduled. I can't yeah, miss them. Got meetings and stuff. So, he's one who pushes himself a lot. So if he's like, a little, if he can like, if he can do it, he will do it. <laughs> yeah. He's a trooper. Sorry, okay. I'm a, We're gonna say goodnight. We will see you tomorrow for day twelve. Twelve. It really is going by slow. Mm, I'm is. excited about that. I'm excited for tomorrow's yarn. We don't know what it's gonna be. I don't know. So I want to go so we can say goodbye. Okay, okay. So and then we can go to bed. To and then we can Okay. Thank you for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. <laughs>